Hello everyone. I'm back with my final thoughts. Um, so I've carried this around for a couple days now and I've been using it to break down boxes, cut packaging, you know, whatever chores needed to be done that required a knife and then just some odd stuff lying around just to cut or whatever. Um, and I've been carrying it constantly, uh, and so I just want to give my final thoughts on it and let you know what I think. Um, so, for those who weren't around or didn't see the initial review, I'll go back over what this is real quick. So, this is the Mid-Tech Reaper model. Um... And of course, you may recognize it, some of you, as the kind of like, it, it's a Microtech, um, Microtech uh, Combat Trodon Interceptor Blade clone, um, if you will. I mean, it's almost exactly the, the same design. Um, but difference is, you know, this is more affordable, while that you know, costs hundreds to, I've seen it up to $1,100, so, yeah. Um, but this has aluminum handles, nice texturing there for grip, especially I've noticed when this pocket clip is very tight, um, so when trying to get it out of the pocket, holding with my thumb right here, and kind of lifting up on the pocket clip at the same time helps me draw it out pretty quick. Or you could just snag the jimping right right on either side there. Um, and you can tell, let's see, it has those screws. Um, I did actually get in touch with Midtech Customer Service, and they are sending me out a tool to adjust these. Uh, not that they need adjusting, I don't think they do at the moment. Um, it looks like they're still in the same position they were when I received this. Uh, excellent firing. It's a double action. And very lightweight. Uh, thanks to that aluminum. The pocket clip is reversible. It does have a little bit of a focus. Let me move that out of the way. Let me see if that focuses. Come on. Come on. Oh, you can see a lanyard hole there. It's not really focusing. And the ball bearing style glass breaker. Uh, the button is very nice and secure. It doesn't rattle. And the blade has barely any movement to it when it's open. You see that uh, nice sort of not sure if I'd call it clip point or modified drop point blade. It's stone washed and Midtech says it's D2 steel. So pretty good, you know, uh, usable steel holds a great edge. So, uh, yeah, and the action's very good on it. And again, it comes with this pouch belt loop, velcro strap, so pretty nice pouch, and uh, fits great in hand, I like that. This was uh, very comfortable to carry on me, because it was so light, hardly knew it was there, so uh, that is definitely a big plus. Now, um, the blade length is 3.75 inches. You see it has a good thickness there and an excellent, if you can see that. Come on, focus! Oh, it has a really good sharp point. Um, and so, let me get to the negatives. Uh, there's actually only one negative. Really, and this is probably all on me. Uh, when I first got it, it actually was doing a great job firing. But it felt kind of like it was grinding a little, the button here. So I put some uh, 
lubricant, three and one lubricant on there, and I poured some lubricant inside, I think a little too much, and um, it had a number of misfires uh, Friday night, and then Saturday it only misfired once, and since then, I haven't had a problem. I've been wiping any excess that I find on it, and I think I finally got the excess out. So, other than that, it's been firing just fine. No problems there. Uh, they do offer a lifetime warranty on these, free shipping. Um, it was nice, and it was kind of them to send me one to review. I honestly wouldn't mind reviewing some more because I'm really impressed by this. Like I said, the only negative was the misfire and again, that's probably all on me for over-oiling the knife. Um, you really don't want to over-oil anything. So, but other than that, you know, it's uh, it's great. Like I said, the firing's back and it's really nice. There's no real... Real wat uh, can't speak at the moment. No real rattling to it or anything. Um, it, it's fairly solid and just uh, came really sharp. I did touch it up a bit because actually near the tip was a um, looked like the edge might have rolled over a bit. So I did uh, kind of hone it and touch it up a little bit so it's uh back to being nice and sharp it did come fairly sharp um, overall you know the quality on it is just it's really good so really good quality uh well made and just yeah i i highly recommend it i honestly do i i'm definitely going to be carrying this a lot um and I already have, and so I love it. Uh, so, yeah, I highly recommend it. I do. I will put a link in the description box below to this knife. So, anyway, um, and hopefully, you know, they'll want to send me some more to uh, test out and let you know what I think about them. So, anyway, this is this is one of their higher end models, and it's really, really good. Uh, I'm very impressed by it. So, yeah, thanks for watching.